Let's look at the patch clamp recording technique for measuring ion flow. Inside a micropipette that you can actually see in the photograph in the upper right of the patch clamp device, there is a solution that can detect the presence of ions. And these solutions can be composed in different ways to recognize different ions. And so we can sp uh, recognize specifically, in this case, potassium. We could uh, design a patch clamp device with a sodium ion detector or a chloride ion detector. So we can detect cations as well as anions. And this is a picture of a patch clamp device. The pipette is sort of sucking at the cell, which is at the left, creating a little protuberance that protrudes into the pipette of the patch clamp and creates a watertight seal. And it is possible to have a voltmeter again built in such a way that the electrodes travel through this patch clamp pipette. And one electrode again can penetrate into the cell. And so you can measure the flow of ions as a voltage change and actually detect specific ions. We have drawn here in green a, a channel of some kind. So it turns out that the resting potential of cells is due to a kind of general leakage of potassium out of the cell through potassium channels that are always open. Potassium is higher in concentration in cells than out. So if the potassium ions can get out of the cell, they're going to leak out of the cell. They cannot cross the phospholipid bilayer. If they're going to leak, they're going to leak through some kind of channel that allows them to pass through. And you can detect that with this patch clamp recording device. You can also introduce a power supply with electrodes that penetrate the cell so that you can give the cell a little jolt that will cause a local depolarization. If you depolarize the cell, you can also measure ion flow. And if you measure ion flow in response to a synthetically generated electrical potential difference, you are looking at a voltage-gated ion channel.